Hello, I'm Llewellyn Falco, and today we're going to do a slightly longer kata. I'm taking this from the kata on approval tests. We're doing the Java one in Eclipse. And to start off, let's just go and run the project under JUnit. And right away we get our failure. And you can sort of see here, they have this expectation of a rather long and involved bowling score thing. And right now, we don't have anything. So uh, we'll start down here in the test and look at our test. Close that away. So we create a bowling game, we roll a whole bunch of balls, and in the end, we want to have that string. Cool. Let's go into here, into the bowling, and Take one more look at what is actually expected. All right, well, this is way, way too much for us to actually do. But let's start with that first piece. And I'm just going to copy that so we can fake this. And let's start by overriding the two string. And in the two string, just completely faking it. So if I run that, good. I got the first one right. Now, while that's faked, I want to start to convert that over so it's no longer as fake. So, first, I should be able to do a string format. And again, just run it again, make sure I have not done anything wrong. Yep. So this is almost like there's a green bar in my head saying, hey, everything's still cool. And then this first thing, which is one, I'm going to pull that out. And that's really my frame score. Or sorry, really frame number. And that, of course, doesn't exist, so let's create it as a field. And it's going to be an integer. And we're going to go here and just assign it equal to 1. And I should have the same thing. Cool. All right, let's move it over now to this 5. So let's pull out the 5. And pull out the three since we have to do the same thing at the same time. And that's going to be roll one and roll two. And then those don't exist, so I'm going to need those as fields. And again, those are both going to be integers. And then I need to take those from when I actually get this roll. So Roll one is going to equal rolls, and then just clone that line, and two should equal that. So let's try that again, see that it works. Good. Now we have to handle this eight. So let's go and do that. So percent s, and this is really the frame score. So let's just say get frame score, and let's create that. And it's going to be an int. And here we have row one plus row two. All right, and that should still be working. Let's test that it does. Good. And now we have this other part, which is the total score. So let's pull that out. So another percent s and get total score. And let's create that. And again, this is going to be an int. And for right now, it really is going to be the same as get frame score. So let's test that out. 
Good. And so in a weird way, it's just sort of refactored the faking to be a little more real. But even in that case, I'm not liking the way this is all because I have all these privates here and they're really about the turn, but they're kind of showing up in bullying. So let's refactor a little bit more and pull this out. So I'm going to want something like a turn here. And then down here, we'll say new turn. Uh, turn it's new turn and you know let's just say which turn it is right off the back so let's create the class turn good and I'm going to throw that just down here so we can sort of see both things at once and then let's create a constructor for it and this is going to be a, a frame number and then I'm going to want to hold on to that one good and you know really I'm probably going to want a getter for that too. So let's do a get frame and Eclipse will just help me out with that one. Good. So now I have this way to do that. I shouldn't need the frame number anymore. So I'm going to delete that. It should complain a little bit here. But now this is just turn dot get frame number. There you go. And let's see. That should be exactly the same again. And indeed it is. Good. All right. So now I need to take a look at the rest of these things that are in here. And let's start with these rolls. I don't like having those rolls out there. So let's push them in. And you know, really, I'm going to have sort of multiple rolls. So let's say add roll. And now I can just do rolls of zero. And rolls of one. And now I shouldn't need roll one or roll two anymore. But let's take this right here. We're going to collapse this in on itself. And instead of saying roll one and roll two, we're going to just say turn dot rolls two string. There we go, and that doesn't exist, of course, so let's create it. Uh, but while we're at it, I see a little bit more red here because I forgot to create the add roll method. So this add roll, this is going to take the roll, and I'm going to need some sort of rolls, and I'm going to add roll to it, and so I'm going to need that as a field. And this really is an array list of integer. And I need to initialize that. Good. So now I have this rolls. Now I have to handle this rolls to string. So this is really going to return a string. Ooh, not that. A string. And for right now, we can just say string.format. Again, just sort of a little bit of faking it here. And this is going to be the first index of roles and the second index of roles. All right, now if I've done this right, got my dot get. I should have the same thing as before. Ah, and I can see I've taken a step backwards because I moved the rolls over a bit. I'm no longer calculating these things correctly, so I'm going to really need to move those over. So let's grab this total score and frame score and cut those. Make both of them public. And now, instead of rolls one, it's going to be rolls of zero, rolls one. And down here, where we're formatting this, this is going to become 
return.git git, and let's run that. That should now get me back to happy. And it does. I have that first line back to working. Uh, and while I'm in the screen, I'm still a little bit unhappy with some of these things. The first is this two string. So it's basically all taking the turn in there. So let's pull this whole thing out and just say turn dot two string. So let's create our two string in here. Let us see what's happening for this object itself. And now you no longer need the actual turns in here. All right, so that's a little bit happier. Let's run that. Good, still in a nice refactoring. Everything is where I want it to be, but I'm not happy with it still. I don't like this rolls right here. The frame score really should just add up. So let's use a more dynamic thing. So let's make a total here of zero and for each in rolls total plus r and then we'll just return total here. Let's try that out. Good. Haven't broke anything yet. But give me a little more time. We still have roll one and roll two here not being used. Let's get rid of those. Nice. All right, and I want to advance a little bit farther, but before I do that, I only allow right now for one turn. So let's keep on this refactoring and turn turn from turn to an array list of turn, in which case this would probably get called turns. Let's initialize that. This is now going to have to become a local that gets added on to our turns. And now here I'm going to need to create a string for each make a turn T on turns and out will now have T dot two string and it really should have a new line at the end of those. So again, this should do the same thing as it was doing before. Good. And I think at this point, I'm ready to start pushing forward a little bit. Except for I actually saw one little thing in that that I didn't like. There's a space missing. So I'm just going to add that to my two string over here. And run that one more time. And hopefully now I have a lot more happiness, complete happiness on the first row. Let's move to the second line. Oh. One more thing, I guess. Let's put this in a for loop. And I'm going to start at 1, because that's my first frame. And I'm going to go until I'm less than or equal to 1. Let's take all this stuff right here, move it in here. So I'm still right now at a refactoring. And let's see that that worked. It should, because I'm only telling it to do something one time, and it did. And then this one really here, this could be I. And down here, this can be index. But if I create that index, I'm going to need to start it somewhere. So let's say I equals zero. 
and let's increment that. All right, still a refactoring, still does exactly the same thing. Let's make sure that it does. Good. All right, now I think I'm ready to move on to the second line. Two. Let's see how that worked. Okay, so pretty good. Uh, I got my second line coming in. I definitely have the frame number right. And it's taking the rolls in correctly, but it's not adding the total correctly. You can see here I got 12 and here I got 10. And the reason for that is it's a spare. So I'm really gonna have to put a little extra logic in here. So if uh, the turn dot is a spare, then um, I'm gonna need to add yet another roll to it. Uh, but I'm not gonna advance the index when I add that roll. It's really only gonna be there for scoring. So let's create that method. Right. Is a spare. And really it's a spare if the get frame score is greater or equal to 10. Or more specifically, I'm not sure I like that as much. Let's say uh, rolls of one plus rolls sorry, zero index there. If that whole thing is equal to 10, then it's a spare. All right, let's run that and see if it works. Good. It's detecting that it's spare, it's adding there, but we're not getting our total correctly because we're just making it be whatever the thing is. So we really sort of need a starting point for our total. Um, so to do that, we're going to go up here. And I need some starting score. Let's create that. That's going to be a local also. Move that above. Also going to be an int. And also going to initialize that to zero. I'm going to add that to the constructor. And I'm going to want to hold on to that. So assign it to a new field. And now in my get total score plus the starting score. And did I get that to work? Uh, no, because I never actually changed it from being zero. So down here, oh, save everything. I think that's just, there we go. All right. Um, so before we add this, or after we add this really, it doesn't make a difference, uh, I need to redo my starting score and set it equal to turn dot get total score. All right, and now I should be good. Let's check that I am. Good. Well, let's turn it up to the next one. So see how three looks. Cool. Now uh, let's turn it up a lot more. Let's go, I don't know, to eight. Okay, well, it turns out I couldn't go that far. At four, it started to fail, but I don't really have to go back. I just have to start limiting my scope again. At four, we're having this problem because we are doing a strike. So we have two problems. One is the way it displays, and the one is the way it's scoring. So let's start with the scoring. So if it's a spare, we do this. But also, if it's a strike, and 
Not only do we have to add the roll there, we then also have to decrement our index because we're only we're advancing right after the 10. So let's create this is strike. And really, this is pretty much the same as that, except for simpler. Now let's just get the roll one is equal to 10. So let's try this out. Control F11. Uh, all right. And we look here, and we have a 10. And 19 and 48 so the rest of this is working but it's still displaying too much so we need to really take a look here at this two string or not the two string the two string for the rolls the roll two string which would be nice if that was sort of near the other two string so let's take the roll two string and the regular two string and put them right next to each other Good. All right. So, if it's a strike, then we're going to need something slightly different than this. And really, all I have to do is take care of that one thing. So let's see how that works. Good. And that's working all the way down, but it's still a little messy because I. I left this rolls get one in even though I'm not using it so let's get rid of that and go look at that one more time cool uh, I think it's time to go all the way up to 10 so let's go and take our frames and advance to 10 and see how we do oh, and very very close everything is working even the scoring is working but we're just not displaying those final rolls that you need to calculate your bowling game. So we have no idea why a roll of 10 is gathering us 30. So let's find out. So the scoring at this point is actually working. It's just our, our reporting isn't showing us that we've actually done it right. Uh, and so we're just going to do one more two string here. If it's a strike, we do that. But before that, we need one more thing. So I'm going to grab all of that. Grab just a little too much there. Else, so if uh, frame number is ten, and either it is a strike or uh, the regular or is a spare, then I'm going to need something a little more like this. Ooh. And now I'm going to need to get the third roll on that one. And now I have a passing test. All right. And that takes us all the way to getting a full set of, we have a test that starts out with, here's how you might roll a bowling game. It's a rich bowling game. It has lots of sort of stuff in it. And this is sort of what we expected to come out. And now we're actually producing that. So hopefully you enjoyed the bowling kata. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, it's available in both Java, C Sharp for NUnit and MS Test. Thanks for watching. I'm Llewellyn Falco, and I approve this kata.